South Carolina Congresswoman Nancy Mace joins us. She serves on the House Oversight and Armed Services Committee. Congresswoman, good to see you. Welcome. Do you think that this aid package will... Good morning. Will, good morning. Will, will it swiftly move, do you think, through the House this coming week? I believe it will move swiftly. And the first thing I want to say this morning is that the United States stands with Israel. And what we're witnessing today is we're seeing Joe Biden bend over backwards to pander to the Hamas wing of the Democrat Party. This is, we've gone from peace through strength to uh, war through weakness because of the White House. They are weak on all of these issues. Why and is the that? Why, why that do you say seeing, that? Well, I mean, look, just a few weeks ago on March 13th, Joe Biden and his administration allowed uh, a waiver of sanctions to the tune of $10 billion in cold, hard cash that would allow Iran to access that money in foreign banks, for example. We know that there was an effort last fall uh, for over, over the $6 billion, uh, separate issues, separate times. And we're watching Joe Biden just sort of distance himself from Israel. He's saying at the same time he supports Israel, he's doing things that then support Iran. You can't have it both ways. Well, President Trump in 2019 did the same thing. He issued sanction waivers. Uh, is the former president's administration to blame at all for uh, Iranian strength? Well, I, I go back to even further than that. I look at the Obama-Biden administration and the poorly executed nuclear agreement. I go back to Joe Biden's uh, poorly executed Afghanistan withdrawal. Um, I think we've all learned a lot over the last couple of years what Iran's uh, point is, what they are trying to do. And this is today about Israel. But long term, I believe we're talking about a larger fight that Iran wants to have. This is jihadism. And we've got to be very smart here, regardless of who's in charge. And I believe that we can resolve the global turmoil we're seeing today by getting Donald Trump back in the White House. I don't believe this would have happened under his leadership. Well, there was an attack, a retaliation by Israel when uh, the former president took out uh, Soleimani. And you know, dozens of our military troops mm -hmm. were had suffered brain injuries when Iran sent missiles into two air bases uh, in, in Iraq. How can the regime that hates us and hates Israel, how can they be curtailed? Do you think they can be overthrown? There have been calls from the opposition to do that. How can we end the theocratic regime in Tehran? Well, we've seen attempts to do that in, in previous uh, administrations, Republican and Democrat alike. And I, I blame some of this going back more than 20 years, some of the, the, the disruption and turmoil we see over there because of our uh, attempts to do that. I think we need to be very surgical here. On the one hand, this week, we're going to pass aid and resources for Israel. At the same time, the House Armed Services Committee, for example, is negotiating the National Defense Authorization Act. I'm talking to our leadership about ways that we can ensure we don't involve in terrorism around the world, that we aren't providing aid or resources or equipment, lethal or non-lethal, to countries that align with Iran or countries that oppose Israel. I think there are a lot of tools in the toolbox that we can use to settle things down in the Middle East. Our military capabilities uh, helped Israel, of course, and, and, and we directly in trying to uh, repel the Iranian assault. Finally, Congresswoman, uh, do you have a sense of, of what can be done going forward. Uh, the president apparently has told Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu that the U.S. will not participate if Israel uh, seeks a uh, retaliation to this attack. Do you think that is the wise step? Would you support Israel if indeed the Jewish state retaliates? If that is the next step, I'm not certain. I don't agree with the president on announcing it to the world because, again, he just weakened Israel by stating to Iran publicly that we won't be by their side if they decide to, to retaliate. I do believe, as I said previously, there are a lot of resources at our fingertips. Step one will be this week when we, when the House reconvenes. We'll be back in D.C. tomorrow getting Israel in a standalone bill the aid that they need to move forward in whatever direction they decide. That'll be their decision based on their sovereignty. Um, I believe we need to build a coalition of allies uh, who support Israel to help to help decide what next steps will be around the world and how we can support them. Sanctions should, should be on the table. Assisting Israel in any way, shape, or possible should be on the table. So, too, should we ensure that we are not aiding and abetting or funding the other side of this fight with Iran or anyone who aligns with Iran? And we saw Saudi Arabia and Jordan also uh, defending Israel. Pretty amazing. Hopefully mm -hmm. this will go forward. Congresswoman Nancy Mace, good to see you. Thank you so much. And we'll Thank see you. How, we'll see how the vote goes, certainly, this week. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.